to the Lake Wheeler Weather Station, one of the many Econet stations maintained by the State Climate Office of North Carolina. Come on, let's take a closer look. Let's take a look at some of the instruments of this Econet weather station. This is the thermometer and hygrometer that measure temperature and relative humidity respectively. The instruments are in this housing to shield them from direct solar radiation. It is also white in color to reflect radiation instead of absorbing it. The housing is slotted to allow for ventilation. Allowing the wind to move air to the sensor gives us an accurate measurement. These instruments are two meters off the ground and use electricity to measure the weather. Next is the propeller anemometer. This instrument measures wind speed and wind direction. Wind speed is measured by how fast the propeller spins. The faster the propeller spins, the faster the speed of the wind. This instrument also measures the direction the wind is blowing from. It is important in meteorology to know where the wind is moving from, so that we know what type of weather the wind might bring. This instrument is also two meters off the ground and uses electricity. These two pyranometers measure the radiation from the sun. One sensor measures typical solar radiation, while the other measures a particular radiation used by plants. These sensors measure low amounts on cloudy days and higher values when the skies are clear. They are two meters off the ground and use electricity like the other instruments. This is a tipping bucket rain gauge. The top gold section funnels rain through a small opening. Inside, the gauge has two buckets on a seesaw apparatus. One bucket fills with rain until it is full and then tips, emptying the first bucket and allowing the second bucket to fill. The amount of rain is measured by how many times the buckets tip. The gauge also measures the rainfall rate. The faster the buckets tip, the faster the rainfall rate. The gauge has a mesh covering to keep leaves and other debris out of the funnel. Near the rain gauge is the evapotranspiration gauge. This instrument is just the opposite of the rain gauge. It measures how much water is evaporated or transpirated by plants into the atmosphere. Water inside the gauge is measured to determine evapotranspiration. The gauge has a Gore-Tex covering on top that allows water out but not back in the instrument. It can represent the area around the tower, such as type of crop or grass. This instrument is not used in the winter because of low amounts of evapotranspiration and freezing water could break parts of the gauge. Michael is standing beside the data logger. This heart and soul of the Econet tower contains a computer and battery. All of the instruments are connected and send measurements to the data logger. The computer is able to store data until it is sent to our office via phone line. In the event of a power outage, the battery can store the data until communication is restored. The atmospheric pressure sensor is in the data logger since it does not require the same ventilation as the thermometer. The instruments on each Econet weather tower are located at the same heights above the ground. This allows us to compare the data from one station to another. Several instruments are two meters off the ground, while another set of temperature, humidity, and wind sensors are 10 meters off the ground. This difference of eight meters can have a large variance at this location just above the surface. The temperature can reflect an inversion, wherein temperature unusually increases with height. It can also show varying wind speeds and directions at a height just above the tree line. The Lake Wheeler Econet Tower is just one of several Econet Towers all across the state of North Carolina. These stations are maintained by the State Climate Office of North Carolina in partnership with NC State University to provide accurate weather measurements. 
visit our website to retrieve weather data from Lake Wheeler and other stations in our Egonet.